OK, Mark, <laughs> you've got duck on the menu today. Is that because you are a duck shooter and you've gone out and caught your own? You're right. <laughs> yeah, I am a keen duck shooter, but uh, no, I didn't shoot this one. Not had time this year, not that I'm a bad shot. <laughs> uh, so, now this is just normal uh, duck from the supermarket, but it works just as well with a, uh, a wild duck. So, uh, we've got a beautiful duck breast here. Uh, so, I'm going to show you how to trim that in a sec. And I'm going to give you the tips to uh, cook a nice crispy duck breast. Right, so there's a few steps here, but I'm going to give you that. And then we're going to serve it with some nice pickled red cabbage. So, very European. Um, some juniper berries in there, a little bit of fruit, the whole sweet and sour thing going on, and that's going to go uh, work perfectly well with uh, Pinot Noir, hopefully a bit later on in the show. Right, so we've got our duck breast here. So there's a little bit of fat on here, so we just want to sort of trim this off. Um, you know, if you leave this on, sometimes if you cook it, it goes a bit chewy. We're just going to take the fillet off as well, and then we're just going to cut excess fat off. You know, you want to leave a bit of fat on, because this is going to go nice and crispy. We are going to render it out so it won't be as much fat on later on when you cook it. All right, so once you've got your duck breast uh, uh, cut like this, you want to put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. And this has just come out of the freezer. So you can see the fat's just nice and set. Pop that on the board. And then that's going to allow us to get a really nice fine score with a sharp knife. And this is what you want to do. The tip of your knife, just really run it over. Take your time. And that's going to help us render all the fat down. And then the next tip to uh, getting a nice crispy uh, skin on your duck breast is start it from a cold pan. Okay, normally we cook meat, we do a really hot pan, not when you cook duck. So it needs to be a nice cold pan. So in the pan, and then just put it on a really, really low heat. So smallest ring, and I'm just going to let that just slowly render out. Once the fat builds up in the pan, we're going to tip that off and keep doing that until it's nice and crispy. So I'll come back a little bit later and we'll get the cabbage on. So over to Mike and Mark and Ganesh in the Mastercraft kitchen. Thank you very much, Malia. She's busy in the kitchen because Ganesh is joining us. How are yes, you, Ganesh? I'm very good, sir. I'm very good. I'm excited to be here with Mark as he gently <laughs> caresses the duck. <laughs> you have two chefs in the kitchen today. Um, and we're doing roast duck, and that's looking good. We are doing roast duck. So that's just been slowly cooking, so you can see that now. Beautiful and golden. It's mm. uh, rendered down all that fat. So I'll just tip it off so you can see that, you know. So you're not going to eat all that excess fat. And... You know, I've been collecting it, so this is how much fat we've actually got out of it, you know? So there's quite a bit out of one breast. We could save that for potatoes exactly. later. Exactly. You know? Do not throw mm. this away. You put Don't it in the it. fridge. Don't throw it. Save it up. Best Duck roast potatoes of potatoes. your life. Potatoes, yeah. yes. OK, nice. Right, so you can just work a little bit more heat in the pan and then turn it over, and then we're just going to cook the flesh side. It will not take long. And then the secret to get a nice pink, uh, crispy-skinned duck is resting it as well. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll get, well, Ganesh can keep an eye on that, because I've been everything. Yeah. <laughs> I've been everything of this I'll eat it. Mate, but we I'll don't trust it. you. <laughs> right, so we just got a bit of butter melting in the um, pot, and we've got the red cabbage. Just going to pop that in, and we're just going to start cooking that down in the uh, butter. Just going to chop the rest. What's the difference between re <laughs> red cabbage and white cabbage? I know, as you oh. ask it, you were like, should I ask <laughs> this? <laughs> but you should, you should. People might be asking the question, don't feel shy. Okay, no, what, what is it? I'm what is let it? you answer that. What is it? The colour. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's genius. I know, it I know. Is, it's it, genius. Yeah. Um, you weren't expecting that? But no, I it wasn't. Is the colour. No, it but is I'm, the colour. I'm pleased you've cleared it up for me. <laughs> <laughs> you were only asking what everyone was thinking. No, that's right. That's no. all. That's all. Okay. Right. That's all. So we've got the cabbage. So the cabbage is just going in there, sweating down. Just got a little bit of brown sugar as well, which I'm just sort of going to sprinkle over the top. We've got uh, red wine in here, and we've got lots of vinegar in here as well, so we just need to balance that out. Nice. We're just going to take this duck breast out now. Just going to start resting that. It's still a little bit under, but you can see that it's got a nice spring in the centre. Mm. So we're just going to uh, rest that, and then a bit later on, we're going to glaze it in some honey and some black pepper. Do you think New Zealanders are coming more fond of duck? I think so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we've, we've got duck season and all, haven't right. we? Like, you know, we go out and hunt ducks. So I think it's become part of that. It's like the, you know... It's trendy now, isn't it? Isn't it? It's, it's the fish of the forest. The fish <laughs> of the forest. That's a that's good a, line. Yeah, I like yeah, that. I just threw that in there for fun. Fish of the forest. <laughs> it's like chicken of the sea, but fish of the forest. <laughs> but different. Um, OK, so we've got apricots going yeah, right here. Yeah, we've right. got a little bit of uh, dried apricots right. as well, just for some nice, a nice big flavour burst in there and a nice texture through the cabbage. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to pop them in and it's all going to start cooking down. A little bit of juniper as well. So juniper, fantastic with, uh, you know, duck, wild duck, venison uh, and cabbage as well. So just get a few berries and just crush them with the back of your knife. You know, so they just release all the flavour. You can chop it up a little bit and then just pop them in. So this is what they make gin out of. 
So you get that beautiful sort of aroma and, and, and deep flavour. Oh, so we've got a bit of red wine, we've got a little bit of gin. This is, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is, no, no, this is no. roast duck I'm looking forward to. Okay. <laughs> so you sort of see it's sort of starting to cook down now. Right, and then we're going to put some uh, red wine vinegar in there. Mm. Okay, okay, nice. So I pop that in. Kind. <laughs> and just going to bring that back up to the boil. You can hear it now, and then just a bit of red wine. Okay, and we'll bring all that all back up to the boil, and then we're going to simmer it for about 10 minutes, and it will just cook off that liquid, make the cabbage nice and soft, mm. but you still have a little bit of texture in there. Beautiful. And then hopefully that should go really well with the Pinot Noir. Ooh. Indeed, we've got a delicious Pinot Noir from uh, the Bannockburn region of central Otago. That's where the meteor Pinot Noirs come from. So. Mark requested a good old-fashioned Pinot Noir. We've got a nice meaty one for him. Nice work. Well, I've Beautiful. picked a good Friday, haven't I? <laughs> yes, you, you have picked a really hanging out the kitchen. Okay, what are you doing now? What? This is, was this your last step? Right, so the last step. So I'm just going to finish this duck now. So same pan. Just tip that excess um, fat out of, uh, off. Uh, spoonful of honey in the pan. Yeah. Mm. Right, I'm just going to melt that down. I've got some peppercorns here as well. So always best to do this uh, fresh. Pestle and mortar. Peppercorns in. Just give them a little crush. Don't want to, you know, get, get them so sort of small, but you don't, you don't want it in the powder, you want that texture. So you don't want to murder them? No. No. Okay, cool. Just half murder them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, so you can see that honey... Don't murder them. <laughs> see, that honey's just melting down now. And then we're just going to roll the duck breast oh, through that. So that. just be really careful at this point. It's like because, a spa yeah. treatment, isn't it? Oh, yeah. This, <laughs> right? it, it's this like is, a Rotorua Polynesian spa treatment for the duck. A simple step yeah. just to at just least to give that go to anyway. <laughs> extra special sort of put to the recipe. Mm. All right, and then just sprinkle your pepper on top. And then, you know, so we've already rested it. So pretty much if we were going to serve now, you could slice that and serve it with the cabbage. But we have to wait for the cabbage. So it'll be about another 10 minutes. So come back and check later. And uh, we'll finish our dish off. Mm. Oh, well, it was nice. Well, you, did you enjoy just standing around? I did. I thought you were going to get your hands <laughs> dirty. Get I was having to hold back. I'm ready to go, but Mark won't let me. OK, fair <laughs> enough. You save it for the wine later. We'll come back to the kitchen very soon. Don't forget recipes. If you want duck this weekend, then go to the cafe.co.nz. Mal. Oh, yum. Thank you. Looking forward to that with the Pinot Noir. Definitely. Before we go, let's find out how our roast duck is going in the Mastercraft kitchen. How are you going there, Mark? We are nearly finished. The duck is resting. It's glazed. This cabbage has just been cooking down now. So just look at that. Looks absolutely fantastic. It's going to taste great. Oh, and it's yum. going to be beautiful with that pinot as well. All right, so we just put the cabbage on the plate. It's going to flip the duck over and we're going to slice it on an angle. So I'll just do some nice slices. So you can see that duck's nice and pink. And that's what you want. Flip it over. And then just lay it on top. There you go. Do you want to try some duck, guys? Yes, please. Yeah. There you go. Oh, look wow. at that. Look at that. So can I just say, if we're going to pair this with the perfect wine, what all, thank you, what are we going to have? What is that accent you're doing right now? <laughs> I don't know. I'm quite sure what that accent is. But well, that's mine. Let's Take go with fancy. That. OK. No, but what would you pair duck with? Well, I think Mark, Mark was, this is a traditional mix. Yeah, nice, nice pinot with, with the, you've got the fruit there, you've got the sort of acidity and the uh, richness of the duck, so a pinot should be beautiful with mm. it. But we've just... been talking about it before, maybe even the Chardonnay. Absolutely. The Chardonnay would be beautiful. Oh, you risk takers. Well, you just mm. keep talking, I'm going to try your duck. <laughs> okay, you I'm keep doing that. And I've got a question for you too, Mark. If people have never tried duck before, is this a good mm. way to introduce them mm. to it? Yeah, this is a great recipe. Uh, works really well with the, um, the honey on there and the pepper. Really simple and just some nice cabbage there. Great recipe for a first-time duck eater. Yum. Yum, Beautiful. Yum. Beautiful.